Welcome to the Beam Corner channel. My name is Chris. Today I will continue the video about tips and tricks for rhinosaurs while working with Grasshopper. Although all scripts are created in Grasshopper, some knowledge of rhino can be useful and save your time. If you haven't seen part 1, please watch it now and subscribe to my channel to not miss the next episodes. If you did both, enjoy part 2 of the video. For sure you have used snapping options in your rhino. They can be handy if you want to find a perpendicular line to another or just click on the middle curve without creating an extra point. I bet you haven't know that you can switch off all snaps except one you would like to choose. Just right click on a snap and the rest will change to unchecked automatically. To come back to your early options just one more click and previous snaps will come back to place again. Alright, so you know now how to quick uncheck boxes in Rhino. This method can be used in filter window as well. Go to select in the toolbox and click on the filter button. Window with geometry filters will appear. I recommend to dock this window into your panel to have it always visible. In the filter window you can easily uncheck which of the geometries in Rhino you don't want to select. For example, if you would like to change attributes for all curves in the project, but they are on the different layers, the easiest way to obtain that will be using filters. Right click on the curve box in the filter window and all the rest boxes will switch off. Now you can select all objects in your Rhino model, but only curves will be active selected. Really often I use filter to temporarily hide objects in my model, as meshes in this example. Pop-up. When you click your middle mouse button, pop-up window will appear. This is a window with easy accessible Rhino functions. By clicking toolbar, option window will appear. Now you can edit your buttons and functions. Delete some buttons by just clicking cross icon on the right. In order to just add your new buttons, just go to your toolbar and drag your new buttons while holding control. Hold control and pick up for example control point curve or filter. Select previous to your new pop-up window. In addition to that you can adjust your easy accessible window. Just go to settings and change your name or even the icon. With pop-up window you can have close at hand all your favorite buttons and you don't need to seek them among hundreds of buttons in the toolbar. Gumball in Rhino is absolutely must-have for all Rhino users. In order to turn it on, click on the button on the bottom of toolbar. Now, if you will select any object in Rhino, a three-dimensional system with extra lines will appear. We call it Gumball, and it will be placed in the gravity center of the object. If you click on the arrow tip, you can write a number and the object will be moved in the arrow direction. If you click on the sphere in the middle of the arrow, you can extrude the object in arrow direction. Three arches in the gumball help you with the object rotation according to each plane. You can rotate it manually or type the rotation angle. There is also three icons which symbolize planes. You can grab it and move your object accordingly to your plane. With the help of rectangulars at the ends you can scale an object. If you would like to scale the whole object in every direction, just hold shift. By clicking the circle in the middle you can go to extra options. You can change aligning or go to extra settings and adjust gumball to your preferences. In Rhino 7 it's a new option available. Name selection. You can find it under layers and name selections. In the first part of Rhino tips while working with Grasshopper I have shown you how to use named views. You can find video in tips and tricks series. 
these two functions are quite similar. In the named selection window, you can create a group of elements. After activating the group, all objects will be selected. Super useful for managing your model. Create your own group and change properties for all selected elements quicker than before. That's all for today. If you would like to learn and read more about Grasshopper, I have prepared a free Grasshopper guide. 20 pages filled with books, exercises and tutorials about Grasshopper. Everyone will find something for themselves. To download the guide, please click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching, see you next time, have a good one.